Okay, Kubo, I'm glad you pulled that twist in this chapter because things were looking a little bit bleak, but you restored a little bit of faith in me with this week's chapter. Good shit there. Let's go. So the chapter starts off and I'm thinking to myself, Kubo, this is a little fucked up. Why is Senjuma already having her head blown in? I was like, the graphic detail on that alone, I was like, that's kind of fucked. But then for a Zero Division member, I was thinking, man, this is slowly trickling down into shit. I was really like disappointed at first. I was thinking to myself, oh man, what is Kubo doing? But this chapter, he totally made up for the past couple chapters that just felt like he was putting the Zero Division in the fucking trash can. I thought like, Wow, so he did a good job in a sense like trolling us for the past couple of chapters into thinking that the Zero Division were getting beat out by Stern Ritter. I was like, good shit there, like this chapter, clap it up, you know, he did a good job in tricking us and he kind of restored my faith in the Zero Division. Although to be fair, one thing I will definitely say, and this is always, I gotta point it out regardless if Bleach does this a lot, I think one of the flaws that Kubo never seems to understand or he just continuously does it is telling the enemy what's going on or like a secret or something to tell the viewers or the readers shall i say you know like basically giving us the narration via the characters telling the enemies is always a dumb move look at shinji nearly his entirety of his fights have always been oh let me explain my ability in vivid detail so you can counter it and when senjumaru basically got up i was like good shit there like i'm so glad that they're not coming out as just basically getting destroyed by the stern ritter and bach but when senjumaru was like oh yeah the real one is up there even the rick ross looking motherfucker with the beard is like oh you told him already like I was like, yeah, Kubo, you can tell us in a different way. Hunt the Hunter, for example, always has the narrator come in. Sometimes it can be a little bit annoying hearing him talk, but ultimately it's better that way than the character explaining something that should be a secret. This should be something like they shouldn't find out about this. That way they wouldn't know or it'll take them a lot longer to find out. So kind of a dodo brain move there in a sense. But then again, it could be that the Zero Division is so confident that they're going to take them out that they're like, it doesn't even fucking matter. And cockiness never gets you nowhere at the end of the day. Let's be real, yeah. But the setup in this chapter with all of the Zero Division members coming together, you got that one cooking bitch that put them inside of this cage. And then you got the Rick Ross dude there. You got Nimaya, everything. Like the setup in this one was very good, bringing all of them together to basically say, Yo, Bach, yo, bitch ass ain't going nowhere, bro. And these superheroes, aka the Miracle and the X Axis, and all these people, they look like they're kind of fucked because they can't break through. So the Zero Division is once again retaining their name. Like, I give it this chapter gave back a lot of the respect that I had lost for them. I had lost some respect. I was like, Man, Keaton G got fucked over since Jamaro got her head blown in. But with this week's chapter, good shit there. As long as Keaton G still isn't fucked, because we haven't seen him in this chapter, so I'm kind of curious what the fuck happened to him. But ultimately, they gained my respect back with this week. And again, Kubo, good job in building up the suspense. Maybe it was a little bit like, damn, why you do that to us, making us think the Zero Division are kind of crusty, but good job in turning things around. And for the most part, this chapter was mainly two things, a plot twist and a very good setup. I mean, it was twisting the whole thing of this entire time we thought the Zero Division was getting destroyed, and then we find out that it was all a trap later on, so good twist in that aspect, and then a very good setup with all of the Zero Division showing up to stop Bach, and Nehemiah turned from like this goofy motherfucker to badass as ever, saying, all of you come together the Zero Division fight starts now. That was badass as hell. And ultimately some good progression into now a proper fight with the Zero Division versus the Stern Ritter and Bach. I don't know if Bach has any more tricks up his sleeve. Is he going to leave this to the Axis, the Miracle, and all these fuckheads and try to go up there? Or are they even going to allow that? How's that going to happen? And to be honest with you, I'm just really relieved that the Zero Division aren't that weak compared to the Stern Ritter. I was like, Man is building up Box Army at the cost of the Zero Division's reputation and what they were built up to be. So the fact that they're not fucked over, good shit. And in all honesty, aside from the stupid move that Senjumaro made by telling him the real Soul Palace is upstairs, for the most part, this was a very good setup chapter. Good twist there. I'm gonna give this chapter an 8 out of 10. Very good stuff. Now I'm excited about the Zero Division again because it was trickling. Like the beginning of this chapter, I was like fucking hell kubo what are you doing like what are you doing and then as the chapter progressed and we found out i was like 
Fair play to the guy, fair play. Just don't troll us like that anymore, please. But let me know what you guys thought of this chapter. What did you think about the twist? Are you excited about the Zero Division again? What do you think about Senjimaru getting seemingly her head blown in and then finding out it really wasn't her? And do you think that was a costly mistake revealing that the real Soul Palace is up there? And what do you think about that setup with Nimai at the end basically saying the fight starts now? Did you get hype? I personally got excited and Kubo restored my faith in the Zero Division with this week's chapter. Any overall thoughts? But that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, if you can do so as well, that'd be awesome. I'm Fanub World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.